All right, to continue our series on getting started from scratch, I want to talk about my three top picks of battle pets to add to your collection and to begin this epic journey. Now, there are weaknesses to these particular picks, but I think their strengths really outweigh those weaknesses. Now, as you can see, there is a total of 867 pets in the game. And so me choosing just three to get started with, um, it's a little bit challenging. But to get just your feet wet and the team that will carry you all the way from level 1 to level 25, uh, I would recommend these three pets here. Okay, And the first one is Chromenius. He is found running Blackwing Lair, which is an old level 60 raid that you can solo if you are a level 70 or higher. Um, the first boss is a little bit challenging, especially if you're brand new to World of Warcraft, but if you're an experienced player and you're just finally deciding you want to uh, get into pet battles, I recommend farming for Chromenius. Um, if you were to buy these three pets, it would be fairly expensive. It would be very expensive, actually. I was looking at picking up a mechanical Pandaren Dragonling for my brother. Uh, just curiosity and i checked the auction house and the cheapest one was selling for seventeen thousand gold this guy here sells for an average of about 15k and this guy chrominius he sells for usually about four thousand gold so if you're to buy these guys straight out you're looking at a large chunk of change um which easily you could buy you know if you bought a wow token um you would have plenty of gold to purchase these but if you don't have one uh, if you don't want to spend real money on this, that's totally fine. I just recommend running the the old raids for it. It took me, um, I farmed for these three pets tonight, or just these two, and I ran, uh, what is this, Encourage? Yeah, Encourage or AQ40. I ran it probably six times. I have a bunch of 110, so it took me very little time. And I ran it six times and got the Anubis Sath Idol. It, it may take you more, it may take you less. Um, Chrominius, I only actually had to run Blackwing Lair twice to get him to drop. Um, so I was happy about that. And then I crafted the Mechanical Pandaren Dragonling on my Death Knight. Um, now this is something that I've kind of been toying with this idea. If you are new to pet battles, if you're genuinely a new player to pet battles, the first five people to reach out to me, just email me at gomarath at gmail.com um and i will hook up with you and i will help i will make you a mechanical pandaren and dragonling um either for free if you are brand new and you have no money or uh just the cost of some of the mats um because he's not he's, he's not too bad to make uh so i'm not gonna do this for a lot of people like i said the first five people who reach out to me and who are genuinely new players, I'm not just going to be bankrolling people to make money. I just really want to help new people in the pet battling world. And I'll hook you up with, uh, I've got a ton of extra pets. So I would love to help any new players. Um, just contact me at Gomrath Games or gomrath at gmail.com. Now, these three right here. This really is the dream team, and I want to talk about them really quickly and say why these are the ones that I would choose. So, the first one, Chrominius here, he is a dragon type with all these beast type moves. And he has a great racial. Uh, every, every pet has a particular racial. I'll go over that in another video. Uh, it's the one I'll probably do after this. But as a dragon type, when you bring another pet below 50% health, you gain additional 50% damage. And this guy has the Ravage ability, which you learn at level 4, where you kill a pet, um, it'll heal you for a big chunk of health. And he's, he's just really tanky, like he can take a lot of damage. And he can last for a long time he also uh later on can run arcane explosion and surge of power which are really useful versus flying types and he also has the howl ability um 
where you could either do Howl and Ravage and do a ton of damage and heal yourself for a lot, or Howl in search of power and basically kill any pet in one hit except uh, mechanical type or magic types. So he is he's an A like an A lister pet, uh, absolutely tier one. Now the Anubis Sath Idol here, uh, he he's kind of the poster boy of good pve pets where this combo right here by level 10 this setup here crush sandstorm deflection is what you will be using 99 percent of the time with him and since he's a humanoid with a high health pool he just heals for a lot because the humanoid racial is that every turn they deal damage oh part of the yard they're healed for four percent of their maximum health and it doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is. Um, it really stacks up over time. Now, the reason I went with the Pandaren Dragonling in the last slot is because he covers a, a handful of bases. Where he is the only double counter to magic types. And love and doing all the, the master tamers throughout the world, you do not run into a lot of magic types. So that's not the number one reason. But he is a fast decoy user, which comes in handy later. Uh, he also has Explode and Bombing Run. Uh, you can also use Thunderbolt and Flyby. He just has a lot of different families that he's borrowing from. And he's a mechanical type, which they're very, very useful in that they come back to life with 25% health after they die. So these are the three pets that you you, you kind of got to have them. Not necessarily got to have them. Um... But when you're starting, they're the most useful. They will carry you from level 1 to 25. And um, if you need help getting them, just contact me. And I'm more than willing to help. I'm a small enough YouTuber that I don't think I'm going to be mobbed with requests. So that's the dream team. These are the three that you want. Um, if you found this video helpful, like rating is always appreciated. And make sure to subscribe for more content.